Today we're coming to you from the beautiful community of Vizcaya. There are 681 properties here in this gated community, right in the heart of Dr. Phillips. Surrounded by several lakes, we have Big Sand Lake, Little Sand Lake, Lake Serene, all within the community. Many of the properties face the lakes. They have boat docks from the single family homes. The condominiums face both lakes, depending on the location, if you're looking from the front or the rear. And this community, uh, which was originally started in the early 2000s, the last property was built here in 2008, offers many, many families in the Dr. Phillips area all different types of accommodations. Uh, fully maintained exterior townhomes, maintenance-free condominiums, single-family homes. The homeowners association here start at $125 per month and go up depending on the type of property and how much maintenance is included. The reason you may want to consider Vizcaya is because of the close proximity to the shops, the restaurants. We have Restaurant Row right outside the gates, a large shopping plaza with public supermarket, Trader Joe's, a few minutes drive down the road we have um, a very large Whole Foods supermarket. All the shops and conveniences that you would want as part of your uh, neighborhood. There are three community pools here in Vizcaya two sets of tennis courts, lots of activities for the family. It's a very safe community, 24 seven gated, fully manned at the front gate. There is a rear exit as well that's non-manned. And we're going to show you some of the properties that you can consider. Uh, today, February 2023, there's only 10 properties listed for sale in the community, not much to choose from. But some of the views, um, when we go up and send our drone across the lakes, you will see um, the eye of Orlando, the views at nighttime are absolutely incredible. You'll see the fireworks from Disney in the distance. And as you come out the gates of Vizcaya, Dr. Phillips High School is literally within a five to 10 minute drive. The elementary school, the kindergartens, it's one of the most appealing, desirable communities and areas for families with children that need really good schools. So let's take a drive around Vizcaya. Let's show you some of the properties and the different price points. We're looking at roughly low $400,000 up to for the very, very large homes on the lake. Up, they have exceeded over two and a half million dollars recently. But average price point, I would say, for a single family home, you're looking at about 700 to a million dollars would get you a four or five bedroom home. And up above that, with the lakes in the back, you're gonna exceed just over a million dollars, particularly if they have a boat dock. So let's take a look. We are right now right in the heart of Vizcaya with the incredible lakes and the water views behind us. We're in the actual Homeowners Association car park. And as we drive around the community, you're gonna see all different types of architecture, the townhomes, the condos, and the single family homes. So we are now driving down what's called the Esplanade, the road that takes us from the Homeowners Association office there and we are crossing one of the two large lakes into the far end of where the Esplanade condominium buildings are located. There's the clubhouse right in front of us and when we swing a right here it will take us directly to the condominium buildings. These are townhomes that surround or are adjacent to the condos some of these townhomes actually are right on the lake and have fabulous views. The nice thing about the townhomes are like the condos maintenance free, all the exterior is taken care of. And this is the very first building of the Esplanade to the right. They have water views to the rear with their large balconies. We are driving through the car park where friends and family can park. These uh, condominiums come in different sets of floor plans, obviously two bedroom, three bedroom. The penthouse are on two levels, so you actually have stairs providing you two floor levels of the penthouse condos up the top there. What's nice about that is you have the views from the front and the back of the two different lakes. There's the wheel 
that is totally lit up every night and changes colors, known as the Orlando Eye. So the buildings on my right, they have the views of the different lake, the smaller lake to the right-hand side, and adjacent some more townhomes. These rarely come on the market. The people that live there, they tend to stay there for many years. I don't often see those coming on the market versus the smaller townhomes as we first come into Vizcaya. Immediately to the right is the clubhouse with the swimming pool. We are right uh, just past the Esplanade condos here. There is a fitness room there as well. Today, February 2023, the weather is absolutely delightful. No humidity, nice and warm in the high 70s, low 80s. Absolute pleasure to be out and about. And as we drive up away from the condos, we're going to come up to the roundabout that leads us straight to the front gate, to the right of the single family homes and to the left, the larger group of townhomes. We have a beautiful uh, fountain right at the end of the Esplanade Road coming in from the front gates. Mediterranean is the key word that defines the architecture in this community of Vizcaya. Most of the garages here are two-car garages. So you've got the condos in the distance. All the homes here on the right have the lake behind them. A lot of these homes do have a pool and beyond the pool they have a or can have a boat dock that allows them to enjoy the actual lake for boating. The properties with a full boat dock do command a lot more money. You do have to own the real estate that goes into the lake known as the riparian rights in order to build a boat dock in the back there. Now with these single family homes in Vizcaya, you are of course responsible for the full exterior maintenance, for the repainting of your home, the roofs, everything else. It's only in the townhomes and the condominiums that you would pay the additional monthly fees for the full exterior maintenance. And as we turn right back into the Esplanade, we have more tennis courts directly in front of us. This is the main thoroughfare, the main entrance and exit into the community known as the Esplanade. And we're going to turn right into this last section of single family homes. This is known as Via Marabella. If you Google this address, these are my favorite single family homes that face the lake back here. These are the ones with the small boat docks and the pools. If we turn left, we're going to come across a small cul-de-sac and at the bottom, we'll turn around and visit the last section of the townhomes. Now these homes are gonna be 20 years old. A lot of them have been updated inside. Many still require them to be updated. If you want the latest and greatest of uh, technology in the kitchens with newer appliances, you can actually find some really good uh, prices of homes here. One came on the market for 895 this week. It was sold immediately. It was four and a half thousand square foot home with the lake behind it. That was an incredible deal. And a lot of these architectures, they're very long. The houses may seem quite narrow to the front but they actually do go back uh, considerably. The reason you would consider Vizcaya is really for the location, as well as the lake and water views, as well as the convenience of being very close to the schools, the shops, the restaurants. The Orlando International Airport is roughly 20, 25 minute drive from here. It's very convenient. Downtown Orlando is just 12.9 miles from us. We are 
literally just five minutes away from Universal Studios and theme parks, about a 15 minute drive to Disney Springs from Vizcaya. Now we're going to cross the Esplanade and go into the uh, last section where we have sold several townhomes here. This is known as Bella Notte at Vizcaya, this area. So now we're at the townhomes of uh, Bella Notte and Vizcaya. These end units here are the best in my opinion. They offer you all the lights down the side as well through the back and the front. These end units, they have uh, side entrances as well as front and rear. Some of them look onto the fountains in the back there. Let me see if I can zoom in there. They have really nice retention ponds in the back. They all have two car garages. And the association does take care of all the repainting in the front, the irrigation, the yard maintenance, the roof replacements when needed. A lot of these have been updated and remodeled over the years. The bedrooms are up the top. The downstairs is basically um, the dining room, large living room, open to the kitchen, sliding doors to the rear views of the pond and the fountains. And upstairs you have the primary suite as well as the additional bedrooms two and three. They are roughly 1,800 square foot, up to over 2,000, 2,200, 2,300 square foot, depending on the floor plan. Again, these don't come on the market very often. I believe there's two on the market right now that we could show you. There's another community pool here as we exit the gates. So we've done a full circle round Bella Notte with all the townhomes. They do look very similar from the front. They're all painted the same. Same architectural roof tiles to give that Mediterranean look. And now we've done a full loop around the community. If you'd like to see any of these properties, uh, just feel free to phone me directly, send me an email, shoot me a text. Would love to meet you here and show you around. It's very, very close to all the amenities, shops, restaurants, and schools in Doc Phillips of Orlando. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing, give us a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.